In this video, we will learn how to find the profit maximizing level of output and price from the given cost function and demand function. The question is given total cost function and demand function is C is equal to 1 upon 3 x cube minus 7 x square plus 111 x plus 50. X denotes the output, C denotes the total cost. And demand function is X is equal to 100 minus P. P is the price and X is the output. We have to find out the profit maximizing level of output and price. Okay. So the conditions for profit maximization are we have the first order condition that tells us that the derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to zero. This is the first order condition or in other words, we want to find the marginal uh, profit should be equal to zero. And this is our first order condition. Second order condition requires that the second derivative of profit function with respect to, uh, you know, x, that means d square pi upon dx square should be less than zero. Okay. So we need to find out these very functions. So cost function is being given us and we are also being given the demand function. First, we need to solve this demand function for P. That means we need to find out the inverse demand function. Okay, when we solve it for P, if I transpose P on this side, so P will become positive. We have 100 and transposing this X here, which is output, it will become negative. So this is our inverse demand function. Okay, so we have the profit function and inverse demand function. Now we know that profit is simply equal to the total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue is simply price into output producer minus C is being given as this function. Okay. Now we know that P is equal to this 100 minus X. So in place of P, I write 100 minus X. To this, we have to multiply this X. So this becomes X minus. We subtract this cost function. That is 1 upon 3 X cube plus 7 X square minus 111 X minus 50. Okay. Since we have to subtract this, so first term is negative, this will become positive, third will become negative and fourth will also be become negative. Okay, so solving again, so we have 100x, if I multiply this x to each of these terms, minus x square minus 1 upon 3x cube plus 7x square minus 111x minus 50. Okay. Now, as I told you, first order condition requires that the derivative of profit function with respect to output should be equal to zero. Okay, this is our profit function and we take the derivative of this function with respect to x. Derivative of x is 1, so we are left with only 100 minus derivative of x square is 2x by profit, uh, you know, by, uh, you know, power function rule. And the rule is simply if we have x to the power n, its derivative is equal to n x to the power n minus 1 exponent becomes uh, you know coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 this is the power function rule that is being applied in this uh, whole uh, you know equation minus we have 1 upon 3 derivative of x cube will be this 3 will become coefficient and exponent will be subtracted by 1 so 3x square plus a uh, same logic applies here uh, 7 derivative of x square is 2x minus 111 derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of a constant is equal to 0 and we set it equal to 0 solving it uh, we will get this 3 and 3 will get cancelled okay we have 100 minus 2x minus x square plus 7 into 2 is 14x minus 111 okay after that rearranging this first we write the x square function sorry uh, the x square term so this is minus x square plus we have 14x minus 12x is come minus 2x it comes out to be plus 12x then we have 100 minus 111 it will come out to be 11 that's negative 11 and we set it equal to 0 okay multiplying both sides by minus 1 we are left with x square minus 12x plus 11 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic function and we can you know split the middle term here this is our middle term we should get sum of the two numbers such that their add should be equal to minus 12 and the product of the same two numbers should be 11 okay so if i put here minus 11 here we have minus 1 so minus 11 plus minus 1 is uh, minus 12 and minus 11 into minus 1 is 11 minus into minus is here plus so we get 11 so i have solved it in this fashion that means x square minus 11 x minus x is equal plus 11 is equal to 0 after that uh, we take x minus 11 x minus 11 common here 
okay i take it common and i am left with x minus 1 and we set it equal to 0 which implies here either this uh, term is equal to 0 x minus 11 is equal to 0 or x minus 10 sorry x minus 1 is equal to 0 okay uh, x minus 11 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to 11 transposing it will become positive okay and sim uh, similarly x minus 1 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to plus 1 okay so we got two critical points where our marginal profit is equal to 0 now we need to check the second order condition uh, to see which of these gives us the maximum profit okay so second order condition is simply it simply tells us that the derivative second derivative of profit function with respect to output should be less than zero when we evaluate it at the critical points our critical points are these 11 and 1 okay so you can see this is also our profit you know d pi upon dx d pi upon dx okay when we you know simplify this this thing we are left with this so this is our first derivative of profit function now second derivative means taking the derivative of this function again with respect to x which implies d square pi minus uh, upon dx square okay so if i take the second derivative of this function derivative of x square will be 2x and derivative of x uh, in 12x will be 1 so we are left with minus 12 okay so this is the second derivative of profit function this 2x minus 12 we need to evaluate this at the critical points. We have two critical points, x is equal to 11 and x is equal to 1. First, we evaluate it at x is equal to 11 and see what will be, you know, the sign of the second derivative. So, we simply put x is equal to 11 in the second derivative and evaluate it. So, we have 2 in place of x, we have 11 minus 12 which comes out to be 10 which is greater than 0 but we should get second derivative less than 0 so this cannot be our critical point sorry uh, the profit maximizing uh, level of output and by the same logic we take when x is equal to 1 we solve now for the second point that is x is equal to 1 and put this in the second derivative so we have 2 in place of x we have 1 minus 12 which comes out to be minus 10 which is obviously less than 0 that means this second uh, you know thing satisfies our second order test also that means when we evaluate the second derivative at output equals 1 we get the sign of the second derivative less than 0 that means profit is maximized when x is equal to 1 okay and the corresponding profit maximizing price will be simply put uh, x is equal to 1 into the inverse demand function we get the profit maximizing price also okay graphically what does this mean so if this is our profit function or marginal profit function so first order condition is being satisfied at these two points when x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 11 okay here you can see marginal profit here is also equal to 0 here it is also equal to 0 so this is the first order condition second order condition requires that the second derivative should be less than zero at critical point that means slope should be you know slope should be decreasing so here you can see it is equal to zero and here you can see it is decreasing here but at this point it is increasing so this cannot be our profit maximizing level of output so we are left with this point okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you